Hello everyone, how is it going? I decided to make a guide video for you uh, because there are still people who ask me how to play the game efficiently and how to beat Nightmare and stuff like that. So, uh, today we are going to focus on crafting system in Inquisition because I think it's the first step to actually be powerful in the game. Uh, simply because uh, the items that we find in Inquisition often are... Uh, there are restrictions on them, like you need to be a specific class or you need to be, have a certain level achieved, but uh, if you craft the item, then there is no limitations. You can be level one and have super, super good items on you. So this is uh, very important to actually be powerful. Uh, so there are a few things about uh, crafting that you need to know. Uh, first of all, you need to find schematics, recipes. So you can either farm them while exploring the world on all the locations. You can find them on the chests, uh, probably some enemies too. Uh, you can buy them in the vendors uh, shops and also at the Black Emporium. They have some really nice schematics there. Uh, second of all, uh, you need to know that uh, materials that you find have different stats on them. Like there's plenty of uh, metals leather and cloth so they all have different stats so you need to focus on the stat that your character will uh, take the best of so for rogues you, you need to focus on critical hit chance flank attacks uh, for mage uh, willpower uh, magic and for warrior strength uh, attack percentage and maybe critical chance, something like that. Uh, all the materials are, are having uh, the tiers from one to four. Uh, four is the best tier. Uh, and yeah, let's just uh, do the example here. So uh, I have uh, probably most of uh, the best uh, schematics uh, right now. Uh, as you can see. Uh, so let's take this axe. This is uh, probably the best early game axe that you can acquire. It, it costs like 15k uh, in, the, in the Emporium. So you don't need to farm it or anything. You just need to have uh, 50,000 gold to buy it, actually. Uh, let's make this item decent for you to use. So it's 200 uh, axe. So it's made for warriors only. Uh, first, uh, the damage. Uh, the best uh, is to go for tier 4, it's the dragon bone here, but if you don't uh, have the dragon bow because it didn't kill the, any dragon yet and you don't have uh, money to buy dragon bone in the store, then you can go for Everite. Just look at the uh, metals that are tier 3. Because tier 1 will be the lowest, tier 2 will be just a bit better, and tier 3 will be really decent, really decent. Uh, tier 4 is just for rich people, you know. So Sarah disapproves. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's take this highest, the highest possible. We have it. Uh, In here, there are different stats. 
uh, as you can see, it's offense slot. This axe have two times offense slot and one utility slot uh, to use. So it's very, very strong axe because you can make it the best possible in the game. Uh, for warrior attack percentage is just pure pure damage multiplier added to uh, so it's it's the best to choose this ever I'd have 35 percent uh, max is I believe 40 percent but it's from I don't remember now from which material but 35 is is really decent Uh, next you have uh, strength, so go for Everite because it's the best value of strength, 11. And in here is utility. Uh, if you are playing Rogue, then of course flanking damage is good, but 200 dax is only for uh, warriors, uh, so you can focus on armor penetration, critical hit chance, or critical 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 hit damage. Uh, so the great bear height gives you 21% chance of critical hits, which is fucking amazing. So. Uh, from this, you can create really decent axe. But in here, you can add masterwork. So masterwork uh, can be either uh, increasing the stats of the item. It's 10% in, uh, increase. But it's not always 100% uh, of successful. Uh, the only the only chance uh, that it's hundred percent successful is to have essence of perfection. So with this essence, your item will uh, have increased stats by ten percent, uh, and it's for sure. So let's add it and to create the item. As you could see, stats. They were increased, so instead of 35% attack, we have 39, etc. Uh, so this is our axe, but also you can add to the item some parts. Uh, for example, for the axe, you go for uh, haft. This is one part, and also. Uh, you can increase critical hit chance, critical uh, hit damage also. Uh, while you are playing the game, you will need to really uh, check the stats of, of, uh, of the materials you are using. And also the pommel. Uh, here is the pommel with two offense slots. One is with metal, uh, second is with cloth. Here is from leather. I think this may be even stronger. Some critical hit chance and some critical hit damage. Hello, Chris, guys. Yes. So uh, we crafted axe perfect. and the two parts for it. So here is the uh, axe. Uh, we can add uh, the haft to it, the pommel to it. And uh, if you have some rune, then of course you can add the rune uh, for some special damage. Uh, 
and let's see if this uh, if this axe is decent for you to use. So it adds strength for the warrior. It adds uh, critical hit chance, which is big boost. 42% boost to critical hit chance. This is huge. And attack multiplier is, is just the best for warriors. Attack and strength, this is just pure destruction. Uh, this is it. Uh, you can also craft some decent armor. The best armor you can find is probably this one. Sturdy Battlemaster armor, there are uh, Battlemaster coat and Battlemaster mail. So of course this is for uh, mage, a rogue and uh, warrior. So if we are warriors, then we'll just make the nice plate. So uh, the highest tier will have the highest uh, armor rating. Of course, Dragonbone is is uh, simply the best. It gives 20, uh, 280. But we are out of Dragonbone right now. So let's take Neverite. This is decent. Uh, in here we can uh, focus on strength uh, or on uh, constitution. If you are lacking some health, then you can add uh, constitution to, to your gear. Mm, but I mainly focus on strength and nothing else. So Everite is level 3 metal. It, it gives the highest possible. Uh, here is a defense slot in which you can make uh, some uh, elemental resistances. You can choose which is for you, the best, fire, cold, lighting, etc. Uh, I usually go for fire because I think most of the dragons are spitting fire at us, so or range defense, it also helps a lot against archers and it just depends on, on, on you. Yeah. So in here, this is the basic armor with uh, range defense and some strength. We can add to it a uh, master work. Uh, this is another thing that you need to know. The master work uh, is made from made, fate touched materials which we, you can find uh, in the rifts, on the bosses, and from picking up uh, materials. There is a some slight percentage chance that the material will 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 be actually fate touched when you pick it up. So you can find uh, spots on the map where you can pick up three or four um, materials at once, and there is a big chance that uh, it will be fate touched. And you can save the game and load if, if it's not. So you can actually farm uh, farm fate touched materials if you know where to look. I can make a video uh, if you are interested in, in some, some kind of fate touched materials uh, so I can show you where to find them. Uh, also, if uh, you are playing with trials, then uh, Fate touch materials are rewards uh, from from your trials, and it also works with saved game. 
So if uh, you had completed the trial, uh, then you had uh, mm, the message that you, you can pick up some reward uh, in your stronghold. And if you save the game and you pick it up and you don't like the result, then you can load the game up and uh, it will randomly uh, randomly be maybe other thing because it's random you can load the game entirely uh, up to you uh, so I think this is a important important thing to uh, to talk about because some of these abilities are really really strong uh, for warrior, for example, uh, this is nice. And fate touch obsidian, which is uh, really early in the game, really early in the game. You can you can farm it really fast, and it's uh, in two variants. Uh, one gives the card on hit, and second is 10% uh, chance of chain lightning when you strike. So. It, this is not that that powerful, but also useful. Uh, the guard, the guard on hit is is really strong if you are uh, not leveled up, uh, because some skills can give you guard, but uh, if you are not that high level, then uh, you may have want uh, another source of guard on you. Uh, so this is good. Uh, percent chance of walking fortress for three seconds it's it's also decent uh, because it, it makes you tanky but uh, short period of time uh, hidden blades this is just perfect thing for uh, rogues uh, we seek Okay, okay, that's it. Uh, I thought the, that I have uh, one more thing, the, but uh, it's not the, the case. So let's make it a uh, free guard on hit. Uh, so here created the armor. We can add to it two parts. Uh, arms and legs. Uh, so you can see it's defense, uh, utility and defense. And uh, you just need to pick which is which is for you. I think uh, utility is always uh, always better, but uh, it's just, it just gives you more power because you can have more stats on your character. So if you stack more stats, then you deal more damage. If you deal more damage, you drop so, so good. So uh, in here you can add life in, in defense. So it, it's not bad. Uh, so these are arms. And in here you go for legs. Uh, which also have utility on them. Uh, we don't have ever right enough. So let's just go maybe for Dragon Bone, which gives us uh, six constitution and six strength. It's not bad. And in defense, you just do whatever you you really you really want. Uh, some resistances uh, some rage defense i think i will go for this so yeah we created decent armor let's take a look so it's this armor because it's made from uh, a little worse materials than my previous ones uh, this is specifically created for killing dragons uh, which which are pain in the ass to be honest 
Uh, so in here we have the armor, we have gloves to add, we have uh, legs, and we can add a sigil. Sigils are tricky. They are really tricky. Because uh, most of the time the sigils have uh, uh, most of the time they are not uh, good for you to use them. Like uh, in this example you have 10% more attack but uh, your healing bonus is 50% less which which is one of the best uh, the best series in the game because healing bonus isn't that much important but if you have like 50 50% mana or stamina reg uh, region less in the combat then it may be a problem if you struggle with with stamina uh, so let's just add this Sigil of Death Root, which adds some damage for our character. So with this armor, uh, we can have some more health, some range defense, big strength uh, stack, and also uh, attack, 10% attack. Uh, and the masterwork with free guard on hit it can really help your character uh, in the early game if you didn't invest uh, enough points in uh, skills which uh, grant you guard, yes? Uh, so we can now gear up our character in these uh, items. This is it. And also a weapon. And this is it. So with this gear, uh, which is quite powerful, you can see the damage, you can see the stats on them. It's, it's powerful. So your character from total zero can have big boost to strength, uh, some boost to constitution, attack boost, critical damage bonus, critical hit chance. Look at this, 73% critical hit chance on my character, uh, which most of it, most of it is the added from, uh, from the weapon I, I carry right now. Of course, I have two rings and and the belt with critical hit chance also, and uh, but it all stack up and it's it's seventy three percent. So three of four attacks are always critical, which which is a huge, huge boost to damage. Uh, so I think it, this uh, video helps you guys. Uh, if you want to see some other uh, helping guides, then let me know uh, what uh, what interests you. Uh, if you want to know where to farm uh, some specific materials uh, or how to create a decent build for your character, uh, let me know. What do you think? Uh, thanks for watching.